I am Anil Kumar sharing with you two questions based on application of power rule. Question number one. At what point on the curve x to the power of 4 minus 25x plus 2 is the tangent parallel to the line 7x minus y equals to 2? Question number two is at what points does the curve y equals to x cube plus 3x square minus 24x plus 1 have a horizontal tangent. So let's do uh, solution of question number one. So let's say answer of one. And then I'll, on the next sheet, we'll do question number two. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now we want tangent parallel to the line. So tangent parallel to this line so what you can do here is you can rearrange the equation and find the slope. So the line given to us is 7x minus y equals to 2. So we can write this as y equals to 7x minus 2. So that means the slope m is 7. So that's what we need to find. So we need to find a point on this line where slope is 7. Correct? So that is the question. So let's call this as a function f of x equals to x to the power of 4 minus 25x plus 2. Derivative of this function will be 4x cubed minus 25. Now when we say Parallel means same slope, right? So we are looking for same slope. So we want f dash x equals to 7 for lines to be parallel. Clear? So we can write 7 here and find coordinates of x. Rearrange, so we get 7 plus 25 equals to 4x cube. This is 32 equals to 4x cube, right? So from here, we can find what is the value of x. So we have x cube equals to 32 divided by 4, which is 8. And x is cube root of 8, which is 2. So once you know that x is 2, you can find the y value. So find the value of the function at 2. So it is 2 to the power of 4 minus 25 times 2 plus 2, right? So you can always use calculator to find this answer. 2 to the power of 4. We'll do minus 50 plus 2 equals to minus 32. The coordinates of the point are, so the point is x value being 2 and the y value being minus 32. Here is solution of question number 2. At what points does the curve y equals to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 24x plus 1 have a horizontal tangent? So horizontal tangent line means what? it means that the slope m will be equal to 0. That's what it means, right? So we have to find points on this curve where the slope is tangent. That means where dy dx is equal to 0. Correct? So that is the whole concept. So let's uh, find the derivative and uh, equate it to 0 to find the points. So we get y equals to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 24x plus 1 dy dx equals to 3x squared plus 6x. Just application of power rule, right? 24. Now, slope being 0, we could equate this to 0 and find what x is. That's the whole idea, right? So this is for horizontal tangent.
So let's now solve it. So we can take 3 common. So we get 3 x square plus 2x minus 8 equals to 0. Now we could factor this equation 4 and 2. So we get x plus 4 times x minus 2 equals to 0. So that means x will be equal to minus 4 and also x is equal to 2. Now we need to find, so there are two points, correct? Now for each point, we need to find the corresponding value of y. So this is important. So you find corresponding value of y. So what we will do here is we'll substitute minus 4 in this equation, find y. So in the first case, we can write y is equals to minus 4 cube plus 3 times minus 4 square minus 24 times minus 4 plus 1. And for the second case, we can say y equals to 2 cube plus 3 times 2 square minus 24 times 2 plus 1. Correct? So those will give us the y coordinates. So let's again use the calculator. So we'll do within brackets minus 4 cube plus 3 times within bracket minus 4 square minus 24 times within brackets minus 4 and then we have plus 1 and that gives you a value which is 81 so this point is 81 y coordinate for the other one we'll replace minus 4 with 2 so let's uh, use the same equation I'll just replace minus 4 with 2 and then recalculate And now it is equals to minus 27, right? You may do your calculations, but this is the method. So we get the coordinates for point. Second point also. So we can now write our answer as the points are minus 4, 81, and 2, minus 27. Okay? So that is how we find it. So I hope you find my process, the method by which we have done it, simple and useful. This is a very good application of power rule. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.